Hey there, it's Ty and welcome to my likes tea. Today I'm going to show you how I make bloomers. It's very simple and for this project I'm going to use fabric, lace, eyelet beading lace, satin ribbon, elastic and of course thread and a sewing machine. Believe it or not, the pattern I use is this one. It allows me to create several different bloomers without having to make several different patterns because the only things that stay pretty much the same in every bloomer are the back and the front curve. Therefore, I like to have something to guide me on that. I'm showing you how I use this by drawing it on brown paper, but in reality, I draw that directly on the fabric. Basically what I do is I draw one of the curves and then I decide if I need to add a few more centimeters to the top, how long the legs will be, how wide it will have to be to fit me and etc. In the case of the bloomers I'm showing you in this video, you need to cut two pieces like this one to make your bloomers, one for each leg. If you're not sure how to make the curve and measure it, just grab one of your shorts or bloomers that you might already have and use it as a guide, but of course adjust that a bit to make it nicer. Usually the measurements I use to know how wide it will have to be is my hips measurement divided by 2 plus 10 cm. And as for the legs it's usually 2 to 3 times wider than my legs measurement. For these bloomers in particular I'm going to be sewing the eyelet lace to the hem of the bloomers with the wrong side facing each other. I don't know if you have a serger, so I'm using zigzag to make the seams safer. Keep in mind that you have two different legs, so once you're done sewing the lace, you should have this. I then sew the bedding lace over the seams, this way it will not be showing neither on the outside of the bloomers, nor on the inside. Once I'm done, it's time to insert the elastic right between the fabric and the lace using a safety pin. To know how much elastic I'm going to use, I just use my leg measurement and add a few centimeters. To prevent the elastic from going all the way into the bloomers, I use safety pins. Once that's done, it's time to sew the legs closed and I'm using French seam in this whole project because it looks much nicer than the fake overlock and I was not sure you would have an overlocker machine at home.
Once both legs are finished, it's time to sew them together. Because I'm using French seam, I'm going to sew them with the wrong sides facing each other, then turn it inside out and sew again, always using a straight seam. I like to start sewing from the middle to make sure that the seams will be aligned perfectly. And when that's done, the bloomers are almost finished and I mark 3 cm from the top and fold it to create the waistband. I then use straight seam to create spaces for the elastic. Then I fold the last bit and sew it as well to finish the waistband. I then insert the elastic through the gap I left open. For some reason I didn't record myself sewing the elastic but I'm using footage from another tutorial to show how I finish the waistband. After that I just insert a satin ribbon through the eyelet beading lace and that's it! And by changing the length of the legs and adding lace here and there you can make several different bloomers. There is a written version on my blog if you'd like to check that and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment saying what you would like to see me making next and I'm going to see you in my next video! Bye!